let's create this cool effect in CapCut for desktop. If you're interested how this is done on mobile, see the link in the description. Here is our timeline with the clip where a man is walking on a road. First, let's add a black clip from the media library and extend it to match the length of our clip. We need a mask of the walking man. For that, we can copy and paste the original clip. Let's make sure the copy will be above the black layer. With the copy selected, in the video section we can enable the auto cutout in the cutout tab. This will take some time, but when finished, we should have masked out the background. As I scrub through the time, we can see we have our subject on top of a black background. To make it act more like a mask, we can switch to the adjustment section and select curves. On the Luma, I can move the top right all the way to the left, making our subject pure white. Awesome! We now have something like a mask we can fill, but before doing that, as you notice, the edges are quite hard. To fix that, I'm going to go to the effects panel and from the lens category, we can drop in a blur on top of the layer. By default, the blur amount will be too much, so let's decrease that to around 2 pixels. Nice! Now, time to fill the white. From the media section, I will drop a second clip on top and shorten it to the same duration as the rest of the composition. As our subject starts walking from the bottom left, I'm going to resize and reposition this so we get rid of this building on the bottom left. Perfect! To make sure this layer is clipped to the white below, we can use the Multiply and Blend mode. An image or a video in Multiply and Blend mode cannot change anything below which is black and will replace the white. This creates exactly what we're looking for. To make sure our subject is filled with nice moving parts, I will keyframe the top layer so it kind of moves along with the subject. Awesome, this looks great. Time to apply it to the original video. For this, we're going to select the top three layers with our mouse and make a compound clip. The three layers will now act as a single video layer. We only want to keep our subject, or in other words, we need to remove the black. To do that, we can set the blend mode of this layer to screen. That is pretty cool. We have our filled in object on the top. When scrubbing the timeline, there is some rendering delay, but no worries. When exported, all will be fine. To make it a bit more interesting, we can add an effect to it. From the glitch category, let's add color glitch too. That is pretty cool. When you export it, you get something like this. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.